Good morning all. I'm uh, out in the garden this morning, which is not like me because it's absolutely freezing out here. But I wanted to show you my new solar panel and it's this and it's absolutely massive. This is a 240 watt panel normally uh, intended to be put on a roof. But uh, Jonty got in touch with me and Jonty said, I've got a spare solar panel from a rooftop installation would you like it and uh, well i'm not going to turn down a big solar panel so this is a centro solar s240 p60 professional now 240 is 240 watts you can see there the, the uh, p max maximum power 240 watts uh, p60 i'm pretty sure 60 means that it's got um, 60 cells and P, I'm guessing, means polycrystalline. So you can uh, count the 60 cells. We've got uh, very clearly, well actually maybe not very clearly because the bus bars kind of uh, look a bit like dividers. But you can see if I get close up that uh, that's two cells, three, four, five, six. So six across and ten uh, down as it is in this orientation. But what about this polycrystalline thing? Well. That looks a bit like polycrystalline to me. You can see the um, sort of strata of uh, crystals within the silicon there. So I'm pretty sure it is a, a polycrystalline panel. Now it's not a bad day today um, in terms of sunshine. The skies are reasonably clear. The sun is out but it's a little bit uh, hazy. But there is sun on this panel. Uh, unfortunately there's a bit of a shadow just at the bottom there which I think is the top of the hedge because the sun is so low down but I think we can take uh, a couple of measurements off this panel so let's see how we go. Now Jonty also very kindly gave me this uh, clamp meter which actually does do DC amps uh, in the clamp section. Um, at the moment I've just put some probes uh, into it and I'm measuring DC volts. Now this thing has MC3 connectors and I don't have any MC3s to interface with it so uh, I'm limited in what I can do but anyway we're getting 35.4 volts let's take a look at the panel and uh, the open circuit voltage is quoted there as 36.53 so a little bit uh, below the open circuit voltage and that's almost certainly because I've got a little bit of shadowing on that bottom row of six cells. Now the next thing I want to measure is short circuit current and uh, it's on there as 8.7 amps. Well now that's going to be in full midday sun in the middle of summer so I'm certainly not going to get that now but uh, let's see what we measure from this panel. Now this meter doesn't look like it can measure amps from the probe connections so I'm going to measure amps from the clamp and in order to do that well I'm going to have to just short circuit the panel so uh, let me take these two connections and connect them together now there shouldn't be any crack or spark because there's no actual energy uh, being released this just goes directly into uh, from no current to well short circuit current now I should be able to measure that with the clamp meter so let's switch that round to DC amps, clamp it round the cable, and yeah, we're measuring 3.7, 3.8 amps. Now I could probably get a fair bit more than that if I took that shadowing away. It is perched up on a piece of wood, but I'll see if I can perch it up on something higher uh, to get more amps. Right, that looks better. I've uh, perched it up onto this uh, uh, what is it, a pot, planter pot thing, so it looks like it's all in full sun. Let's measure the current again. And uh, yeah, now we're getting uh, about 4.8 amps. Uh, not quite the 8.7 amps uh, maximum of the panel, but then that's not surprising because uh, we're not far off the middle of winter. So 4.8 amps, 36 volts. This thing's actually uh, generating uh, about 180 watts at the moment, which is pretty nice in this uh, low sun. Of course, that 180 watts is just being dissipated into a dead short, so something's probably getting warm. 
So now I've just got to decide what I'm going to do with this panel and uh, I've had a few ideas. I could put it up on the uh, kitchen roof there and uh, get myself a 24 volt grid tie inverter and use it to just offset some of the base load in my house electrics. Uh, the other thing I thought is I could use it to charge the electric bike because the battery in there is about 25 volts. And uh, this panel has a rated voltage or a max power voltage um, of 28.75 so it should be enough to charge that uh, bike battery. But uh, it's just a beautiful thing, isn't it? And uh, if you compare it with the 100 watt panel up on the, on the fence there, uh, it's also a very big thing. Cheerio.